All right. Hello, everybody. Officially, hello and welcome to our Superfood Social Sunday call. My name is Ashley Castro, and I am really honored to be leading this call. I know I was asking everybody, so I'm going to just put it out there again. And if you're tuning into the recording, you can share this in the comments. But I would love to know where you're tuning in from geographically, where you're at. Let us know in the comments and also let us know how you found yourself here. Who connected you with this space? How you found yourself here with us today on a Sunday? And um, yeah, just love to like hear from people and know like who's here? Who are we talking to? I'm seeing so many beautiful faces and I'm excited to just introduce myself share a little bit of my story and yeah, it's going to be an awesome time. So we're going to keep this call to about 30 minutes long and just give you guys a little idea, like share a little bit of my story, give you guys a little bit of an idea of what it looks like to partner with this community and all that good stuff. So if you're here, it is because someone, someone thought of you, someone thought that this call would resonate with you, that perhaps what we have going on with our community would be a good match for you. And I'm really excited um, to welcome you here and just share a little bit about what we have going on. Before I share, before I dive into my story though, I am curious to hear a little bit more again from those who are actually here showing up to this call. So we're living in really crazy, unprecedented times, right? Like everybody can feel that, know that like 2020 has been a whirlwind. Drop a one in the comments if you're like, whoa, 2020. Yes, it's been a whirlwind. I feel it, you know, um, without going into all of the different stories and narratives and, and, and all of the things that are going on, we can just say, wow, a time of transformation truly is upon us. And I have been likening the transformation that we're going through and, and transformation at all times, but specifically this transformation, it feels really um, applicable to this analogy that I like to use or a metaphor. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm not, English isn't my thing, you guys, but it's one of those. Long story short, it's like a wave of transformation, a giant, massive wave of transformation. And when a giant wave comes, there are one of two things that can happen we can either become really, really good at surfing and we can learn how to ride that wave or that wave will just suck us down to the bottom of the ocean and drop a two in the comments if you've ever been in the ocean and have gotten caught in a wave that's like whoop, sucked you down. You're like, I'm in this wave, I can't get out. It's so powerful. The same wave that you can ride and have this awesome, super fun, amazing, whoa, like incredible ride can also, it, it can kill you, can literally kill you. And that is what's happening right now in our world in so many ways is that there's this massive transformation. The world as we know it in many ways is crumbling. A lot of systems in place are not supporting people to thrive and people are really seeking alternative solutions now more than ever to what the story has been right like drop a three in the comments if you're like yes i am i am really i'm changing my story i'm in a personal transformation i'm i'm in this transformation where i'm realizing i don't want to go to the bottom of the ocean i want to ride this wave if you're here because you're really looking to get good at surfing drop a three in the comments i want to ride this wave so that's what we're doing here in this community that is what this community is all about that's what uh, Purium, the company that we're all partnered with, is all about. And the beautiful news is that we have been on this mission and this has been our vision long before 2020. And I'm literally getting like full body chills right now. I'm going to start going into a little bit of my story and I might get emotional. So <laughs> thank you for, you know, receiving my share here. So long before 2020 and long before, you know, all of the meltdowns and the transformation that, that is happening. I was very aware that the world had a lot of issues, right? There's a lot of things in the world that were kind of backwards and upside down. I um, grew up in California. I'm still here. I live in San Diego. And if you're not familiar, San Diego is a border town. We border Mexico, we border Tijuana. And I grew up going down there often as a kid. And from the time that I was a child, it just made no sense to me. I just could not wrap my mind around how I would be in this one place, travel like steps. I would just like, whoop, cross the border. And it was just a completely different world, right? And 
from a young age, I started learning and having an extreme awareness of economic disparity, what we now refer to as like the 99 and the 1%, right? And if you really look at it, this is created. If all of the richest people in the world got together and said, hey, let's end world hunger, let's end poverty, let's create clean water for everybody, let's heal the earth, do new farming practices, like we could regenerate this entire planet, right? If we would redistribute the wealth. Drop a five in the comments if, if you feel that. If you're like, wow, yes. If all the people, the billionaires got their billions together and just did good with it, the whole world would change. The whole world would change. The people who have the money are the people who are making the biggest decisions. And I used to be someone who wanted nothing to do with money from a young age. Again, I saw this story and I went into the narrative of money's bad, money's evil. How can we get away from money? Let me just start a commune and live off grid and we'll just like share our gifts and talents. Who's with me? You're like, that's the path I'm going on. Like we got to get out of Dodge and ditch this society and like, just, ah, you know, and then I realized, wow. Yeah. And then I'm just going to be wearing poverty, like a badge of honor. Like, oh, that's the holier, better thing to do. You know, like that's I, material things are evil. So that was a story and a narrative that I carried for a long time. I carried that narrative for a long time. And if that's ever been your story or your narrative, drop a six in the comments. If you've ever had money issues, money wounds, if you will, come up. It's very real and something we don't talk about enough. Financial illness, financial sickness. Anybody here ever felt so stressed about money or finances that it literally makes you feel sick? This is not talked about enough in our society. And what drives me absolutely crazy is that it's a rigged system. It's so crazy. So again, here I am on my like little Ashley trailblazing as a kid. I'm like, the world's so messed up. We need to just go back to living in community and get rid of money and all of that. And then seven years ago, eight years ago now, I found out that I was pregnant. And when I found out that I was pregnant and it was a surprise and that I was gonna be bringing another life to this world to take care of, all of a sudden money seemed like a really good idea. <laughs> seemed like a really good idea. And I decided in that first year of motherhood that I did not wanna be in a position where I had to decide, do I buy organic food or do I buy diapers? No parent should ever have to make that decision. Should I, do I take care of my kids and like take care of our health or do I like pay our rent? These are the decisions that most families are facing. So I had then another baby. I had two babies under the age of two. And I was very clear, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewind a little bit. So when I got pregnant, and I'm curious, who here is a parent? Or you have little people in your life, maybe they're not biologically yours, but drop a seven in the comment if, you're, if you have little people that, you know, you're their adult. <laughs> yeah. Just want to give so much love to all of you. You're doing amazing, amazing, amazing work. Raising little people in this world right now is, is no joke. Okay, so you're all amazing. So when my husband and I met and when we found out we were pregnant, we were so clear that this traditional lifestyle that we had seen modeled to us was not for us. And really beautiful. My husband actually is from Tijuana. So my husband's from Mexico and I'm here from San Diego and we kind of paired up and we were like, you see the issues with the world, right? Like I see the issues with the world. Like, let's change this. Let's change this story. And something that that for us, what that looked like was in order to change like the global story, because that's what we're talking about, right? We're talking about like the 99 and the 1% and, you know, economic disparity and all this. In order to change that bigger story, we knew that we needed to change our personal story. That what we do in our personal lives is, will be the change that ripples out into the whole. And that once we've personally done something, that's the only way that we can pave the way for other people to do the same. So we found out we were pregnant and a week after, seven days after our first daughter was born, my husband was working for a really cool like startup company at the time. And they were making, like they were downsizing and they were, you know, making changes. And he was supposed to go back to work on a Monday and he got a call on a Friday. You don't have a job anymore. You don't have a job anymore. 
So I am there like a one week old baby in my arms and just found out that we have no income because I had stopped working, um, you know, a few months prior. Now, most people in that situation, I think would be so stressed and be like, oh my gosh, like we don't have income. This is so scary. What are we going to do? And I will never forget that I just wept tears of joy. I mean, I just sobbed and was so happy because and again, if you're a mom and you know this feeling, I was like, please do not leave me with a one week old baby by myself. I need you here. I'm supposed to do this alone? Like what? This is crazy. Families need and deserve to be together. And so that for me, I was so clear on like how that's what we needed and how that's what we, we really were after. And so we decided okay, we're not going to go back to work. Let's not ever go back to work. Let's become entrepreneurs. Let's start our own business. Let's create online business. And so that's what we did. We started an Etsy shop. We started growing a blog. We started growing our Instagram. We started doing all of these things to make money outside of the matrix of the nine to five. My husband's a musician. So he started working on recording music and doing all this. I have a back background in herbalism. So I started, you know, my own shop. Like we were doing so many things. We were going to like get on the road and live the RV life and just travel around, you know, like that was the path that we were on. And it was amazing. And it was great until it wasn't. And until I was so stressed out and burnt out with constantly making content with feeling like I was a slave to Instagram, um, feeling like we were never going to get ahead. Has anybody here ever done anything as an entrepreneur or done your own creative thing or tried to start your own business and you feel like this is awesome, but I'm not, I'm not like making my dreams come true here. You know, drop an eight in the comments if you've ever been in that place. If you resonate with that of like, I have my own business, I'm an entrepreneur, but it just wasn't getting me where I wanted to go. Not only with the amount of people that I'm able to impact and help, but with the financial money that's coming in. So many people relating to this. So that's where I was at. I was like, I need a change. I need a change. So I was so clear that what we were doing was not sustainable. After we had our second baby, we had those two under two. I was still running the Etsy, building the blog, doing all that. And my husband had gone back to work because we needed him to go back to work. We needed steady income, all of that. So we were back in this position of he's out of the house, 40, 50 hours a week. I'm at home with the two little ones, stressed about Etsy, stressed about, you know, all this stuff. And I was on Instagram one day, as we all often are just scrolling when we're like, ah, and I'll never forget. I was putting Gaia to sleep in the baby carrier and like bouncing her around. And I was pacing in the backyard, like scrolling, looking on my phone. And I saw one of those posts where it's like some girl in a bikini, you know, like on a beach. And she's like, I'm living the laptop lifestyle, like making passive income, traveling the world. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? It's crazy. But I, I read that term, passive income. And my ears like perked up. I was like, what's that? Passive income? That sounds nice. So I'm so curious. Drop a nine in the comments if you know what passive income is. If you're like, yes, passive income. Yes, that's amazing. Okay, and then we're gonna go all the way back around. Drop a one in the comments if you're like, what is that? I kind of know, I'm not really sure. Like drop a one in the comments if you're like, hmm, passive income, that sounds interesting. So for me, I had no idea what it was. I had no idea what passive income was. I love this. And I started researching. I researched passive income and this led me down this amazing rabbit hole. And this is basically, I'm gonna give you just the, the brief summary here because it sounds like everybody knows what it is. I'm not seeing any one, ones in the comments here but just in case anybody's watching the recording or doesn't know exactly what that is. There are two types of income. There is active income and then there's passive income, active, passive. Active income looks like this. So I am, um, one of the offerings that I have is I'm also a birth coach. So we've had free births with all of our babies and I coach and mentor women around birth. Active income with being a birth coach would look like this. I set up an appointment with somebody, I get on the phone with them, and I trade them my doll, like I trade them my time for their dollars. I'm trading time for money. 
And as we all know, we only have a certain amount of time in the day, right? You only have a certain amount of time that you can go to your job, that you can do those things. So that's active income. Passive income would look like this. It would look like I record a video of myself talking about birth coaching and talking about free birth. And then I put that, you know, hour long recording up on my website for people to purchase, for people to download and they purchase it. Now, once I put that up on my website, I've done the work once, but every single time somebody would go to my website and buy that or download that, I would make money. Therefore, passive income, because I'm not showing up and actively trading my dollars, uh, trading my hours for dollars. Does that make sense? Is that clear to everybody? So with passive income, I could be sleeping or on vacation like I am right now, and somebody would go and like buy that, that course from me and I would make money. So I decided that's what I'm going to create. When I read that post and I saw and I learned what passive income was, I was like, that is what we need. Okay. I got to build my blog bigger. I got to make courses. I've got to make all this content. I mean, I've got to just up it, but I've got to make it all so that people can buy it later, buy it at any time. And that's the path I was going to go down. Oh my gosh, you guys, so much money just to even build a website, just to even like build a website, make the content look the way that I wanted to. And I, I was like, oh, I don't, this is a lot of work, but I'm going to do it. So I was on that path. That's what we were doing. And I had this moment, I had this day where my husband and I woke up in the morning and we looked at each other and we both just started crying because he had the experience of being with our first daughter when she was born because he had lost his job. He was with us every day and got to see her every day growing and all that. And with our second daughter, you know, he wasn't there. And we were just crying like that he was missing that, that he was missing out on that and how it was just breaking us. Like it was breaking us. And we just reached a breaking point. And I'm just curious, like drop a two in the comments. Maybe it's not around parenting, but just drop a two in the comments if you've ever like reached a breaking point in your life. We're like, oh man. <gasps> The way that I'm going is not going to keep working. This is not going to keep working. I need a change. So yeah, a lot of people feel that. So as I often do, I went on Instagram and I shared this. I posted a picture of Oscar with our two girls saying, I'm so heartbroken. I'm grateful, but I'm not satisfied. I'm grateful for an awesome job that pays our bills, but I have dreams. I want to be together. And I feel like we deserve that. We deserve to, to buy all the organic things we want. We deserve to go on vacations. We deserve to not stress about money. We deserve to be together. These things just started feeling like very basic human rights to me, right? Like, wow, the system's really not supportive for the nuclear family to thrive. And I made a post on Instagram saying, this is how I feel and it's breaking my heart. And so many people were like, yes, Ashley, I feel that too. I feel that too. And I'm, I'm hearing, seeing in the comments, like, yeah, people feeling that as well. And I, and I made a post, literally, I can like share these posts with you guys, myself crying on Instagram, tears streaming down my face. I'm holding my baby. And I said, there's just a fire raging in my heart. And I don't know how I'm going to change this story but I'm going to change it. And not just for me, but for other families out there as well. Like we deserve to thrive and not have to go like escape to a commune where we're like, no one has any money. And we're all just trying to like figure it out. You know, I laid down that prayer through these Instagram posts. And right after I made these posts, I start clicking as you often do when you see something that like, you know, you click here and then you click there. And then all of a sudden I'm on this Instagram page of the most beautiful, amazing mama I had ever seen. She was just radiating my exact lifestyle that I wanted to live. And if you know her, her name is Sarah Rhinelander. I saw Sarah Rhinelander, who's, if you're, you know, if you're not familiar, Sarah Rhinelander is my mentor in this business and pretty much everyone, everyone here is their mentor if they're a part of this business. 
I saw Sarah Rhinelander living my dream life. Her husband was from Uruguay. They had property down there. They were, you know, living on Kauai, like living in on Kauai in Hawaii. So they were traveling, they had their kids in these like really amazing, beautiful, like Waldorf inspired schools. They were talking about like her husband wasn't really working and they were talking about all these things that I cared about, financial freedom, physical freedom, supporting people to empower their, themselves physically, financially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. She was basically just talking about the need for, the, for a revolution. Like, right? Like, this is the need for the revolution. Like, we've got issues here. The world is messed up and backwards and the systems that are in place are not supporting people. And I'm all about creating something new. And she basically was like, I'm going to create a new paradigm. Who wants to join me? Who is on that mission? And I was on the phone with her within 30 minutes, within half an hour. I had messaged her and I was like, what do you do? She wrote back to me and she was like, hey girl, have you ever heard of Perium? I said, nope, what's that? She sent me one link, the farm to family video. I watched that video and I got this download of like, boom, this is it. This is it. This is so, this is it. It was like a 100% yes. Yes. Everybody, anybody ever felt that something comes your way and you just know, you just get that hit. You're like drop a three in the comments for like, yes. You're just like, whoa, this came, this came to me. So that is the message that I like. That's what I received. It was like, okay, this is, this is what's right. I got on the phone with her and she said, and I was just like, give it to me straight. How many hours do you work? What exactly do you do? And how much money are you making? And she said, well, right now, and this was four years ago. This was like four and a half years ago. She said, right now I work about 10 hours a week at the beach with my kids, wherever. Mostly I'm just connecting with awesome people on the phone, talking about transformation, talking about, you know, just transformation. She said, truly is the word for what we do. Physical transformation, financial, emotional, mental. I support people through that. And right now she said, I make about five to $8,000 a month. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> You're making five to $8,000 a month working 10 hours a week. Are you kidding me? And she's like, yeah. And a lot of that is passive income. And I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. I need to know everything. I need to know everything. And I did. I was a person that I was like, drove to meet Dave Sandoval, the owner of the company two weeks later, I heard he was going to be in Huntington beach. And I was like, I got to go meet this guy and like feel him out and see if this is all legit and all that stuff. So I, I dove in. I just, it was such a yes for me. And I had negative money in my bank account. We had a car that had an engine that didn't work and we needed to get an engine replacement. It wasn't like I was in this place where I was like, yeah, let's start a new business. I was in this place. You guys heard me, right? Like my story where I was like, I was so stressed. I was so burnt out. Money was not there. So I want to just bring this in and then I'm going to talk details about what it actually looks like if you're resonating with this to do this and to join us. So when this came my way and I'm curious if you're here or if you've ever been here or if you know people who are there, we're like, yeah, this is really interesting to me, but I don't have the money. Drop a four in the comments. If you're like, this sounds great. I don't have any money right now. I have no money. I don't have money to spend. Can't afford it. Can't buy product. Can't even pay my bills, right? Drop a four in the comments if that's ever been you or anybody else you've known who's like, no, I just can't afford this. And that might be Purium or it might be whatever it is. So I want to just speak to that real quick here because that was a part of my story. And I'm not telling anybody here what to do. I'm just sharing my story and what was real for me because I got that clarity that this is going to change my life. This is going to change my life and I'm so sick and I'm so done with what I've been experiencing. I'm going to stand in my power right now and prove to myself that I can change this story. At the time, the package that I wanted to get to do a 30 day experience with this company, like 30 day product experience and get the whole business. It was $500. It was $500. And I'm serious when I say I had negative money in my bank account. I'm not like, you know, for real, for real. Um, and you know what I did? I could have gone to space like, oh, life, it's so hard. Blah, blah. I was like, no, I'm going to ride this wave. I'm going to learn how to surf right now. I started looking around my house. Like, what can I sell? What can I sell? What do I have here that has value? 
I sold my crystal collection. I sold my baby carriers. We took my husband's guitar to the pawn shop. I mean, we made it happen. And I just say this and I share this because if you're here and you feel inspired, I don't want money to be a barrier to entry. It should not, you are more powerful than this. You are more powerful than that. So, and the awesome news is that to join Perium and to start with us, it's no longer even $500. So I'm going to give you guys a little breakdown of what this looks like. I know we're like almost to the top of our half hour here. I got like more into the story here because it felt, you know, it felt called for. Um, but if this is resonating with you, if you're just like, yes, I'm feeling this. I want to change my life. I'm on this mission. Like, how does it work? What do we actually do? Like drop a five in the comments if you're, yes, okay, this sounds amazing. You know, I'm on board. I'm just curious, what are the next steps? What does it actually look like? How do you actually make money? Um, so I got started and, and this is what it looks like to get started with Perium. The way that Perium works as a business model is they have taken two really powerful business models, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is you become partnered with a company and you get a code to share with people you know for a discount. Pretty much every online company has this now. Like there's, don't ever go make a purchase without trying to find a code. There's always a code out there you can use for a discount. And even better if you get a, one of a, a code from a friend where they're gonna get some perks too. You know, you're like, oh, send your code to this person. And I'm, I'm in an Airbnb right now, you know, we're on a little family vacation where it's like, you send them a code, they get some money off their next day and you get money off your next day. Super cool. That's affiliate marketing. Perium took that business model and married it with a multi-generational pay plan. So this is what that means and looks like. Take Uber, for example. You know when you um, give your code to somebody and they get like a, a discount on their first ride and you get like five bucks or something for your next ride? Well, imagine if every single time that person took an Uber ride for the rest of their life using Uber, if you got paid. Not just the first time, but every single time. And then imagine that if that person shared their Uber code with people and not those people started taking rides, you earned a little small percentage on those people's rides. And if those people got an Uber code and turned around and shared, you'd earn a little percentage on those. So there's no other company that does that in that way, but Perium does. Perium has one of the coolest, most unique business models I've ever found. And that is one of the reasons why I decided to partner with them because it's gold. It is gold. So this is what it looks like. You share a code with family and friends for a discount. They go, they're going to use your personalized code to shop, buy some awesome superfoods or CBD. They're going to get $50 off, not $5 off their ride. They're going to get $50 off whatever they get or a 25% discount, whichever is greater. On the flip side of that, Every time they order, you earn a 20 to 25% commission on the dollar amount that people are spending, right? So every single time someone orders, so they go, they use your code, they fall in love with the product. And next month when they order, guess what? You're going to get paid. The following month that they order, you're going to get paid. What this creates is it starts to create that passive income for you. Once you've created a customer base, people love the products and they're continuing to order. You can be again, like on vacation and having orders come through. Perium takes care of shipping it, doing all that. And you're re receiving money. And Perium continues to honor you as the person that shared that with them and brought them in. And then here's where this has become really powerful and life-changing for me. I love sharing the product with people and the product's amazing. And I, I love and appreciate my customer base. And I came into this with a very clear financial why. I was very clear that economic suffering was killing people more than our corrupt food system. That money was almost the foundation, money was almost the foundation for all these other things to be fixed. Empowering people with money, oh, it's huge what that can do. So I have become really passionate about sharing this and supporting other people to grow their own business as well. So what that looks like, it's what I like to refer to or what we lovingly refer to in our community as financial permaculture. And basically it looks like this. If I share this with somebody and they wanna become a brand partner and get gift card codes themselves, 
and they turn around and they start sharing those codes, I do get paid on what they're sharing. And I can get paid on this ripple effect, nine people away from me. So like I could share with Abby, which I did. Hi, Abby. Like I share with Abby and you know, she shares with somebody and if they share with somebody and then they share with somebody and they share with somebody and they share with somebody, Perium honors me as a person that started that little ripple effect. And I get paid on all those orders that come through. So the beauty of this business also is it's not about who you know. If you're here and you feel like, I don't have a big enough following, I don't know enough people to be successful. The beauty of this business is that you could share with one person and they could turn around and share with one person. That person might turn around and share with somebody who's famous. I mean, you just never know. Like you really never know how this can grow in the lives that this can touch. I personally, so I've been like wrap it up here with, I personally have been now partnered with Perium for the past four and a half years. In those four and a half years, I built my business for about a year and a half. And I got myself up in that year and a half to making more than double than what I had been making with my Etsy shop. I like doubled my income in half the amount of time. It was so amazing. I took a year and a half off from working actively to have my third baby. And it was so beautiful that during that time, I continued to receive income every single month. I continued to receive income from all the people that were still out there ordering. I just reactivated my business and came back to actively work in March and have been building now since then. And I just want to say, if you're here right now, your timing is so perfect. Your timing is so beautiful. There's never been a better time really to partner with this because so many people, pretty much everybody that I talk to right now is suffering in one of two ways or both. They're suffering physically. And when I say physically, that encompasses for me, the mental, the emotional, like the body. It encompasses for me, the spiritual aspect. People are suffering in that way and, or they're suffering financially. And people, you know, too, they're just not walking around wearing signs that say it. But if you were to start asking and getting those conversations, most people, you know, are suffering in one or two of those ways. And these are the solutions Perium has to offer solutions for health and wellness, solutions for finances. And so I have been really dedicated to supporting as many people as possible to locking arms with our company right now. And so many people are looking to leave their jobs to stop doing these things that don't serve them to really change their life and to step into this new place. So I am going to share this. Okay. We're going to kind of wrap it up here. So I, again, was with Perium for, I've been with Perium now for four years. Um, I was making with my Etsy shop because somebody saw here. So I just want to be like very vulnerable and transparent about numbers because let's be real. Like everybody wants to know like what's, what's real. It's actually happening here. I was making about $2,000 a month with my Etsy shop. So I built my business for a year and a half and I, I got up to making about $4,000 a month. And then I took a break. I took a time off and I came back in March and what used to take people about a year or two to do in this business, I'm now seeing people do in like three to six months because Again, so many people are like, I want to ride this wave of transformation. I want to exit the matrix. I don't want to be dependent on this system that is not supporting me. So now um, my highest month of income with Perium was 13,000 in a month. And I'm averaging about 10,000 a month right now. And I have goals that are way bigger than that. And, and that to a lot of people right now might be like, oh my gosh, like that's so crazy. Like, when I started with Perium, my goal was $5,000 a month. That's what I wanted to do. It was full-time income for me. Then I started seeing how much I could help the world if I had more money. And now my goals are just like limitless. I'm like, I want to become a conscious millionaire so I can actually give away all of my money to like, just, I just want to become a millionaire and then not like lose my millionaire status, you know, like over and over again, like become a millionaire and give it all away. Like have it come in, have it go out. How it could just there's so much I could do in the world. My husband and I have really big dreams of like philanthropy and doing all this. So we're just on this mission of like, how much of the wealth can we take back so we can re redistribute it? Because Jeff Bezos isn't doing it anytime soon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was going to say it, like the people with the wealth aren't seeming like they're going to give it away to the good causes anytime soon. So let's do it. Let's do it. 
if you're with me, if you're on this mission, if you're like, yes, I am here for the transformation. I am here to redistribute the wealth on this planet. I'm here to support myself and others to find freedom in their bodies and in their bank accounts. Drop whatever number you want in the comments. Just like, let's light it up. Yes. We need more of this. We need more people right now standing in their power with solutions, not being perfect. This is not about being perfect. Just showing up, just showing up and doing it and sharing. So you're all amazing. You are all incredible. If you're here and you're already working with Perium, beautiful. I love you. Go out there and just share this even more. People are desperate for these solutions. If you're here and you're brand new, I love you. Welcome. I hope to see you on our call tomorrow. If you join us as a brand partner, we actually do a training call every Monday and Thursday. And our Monday call basically is a call where we break down how to do this business, literally step by step. What's your financial goal? How many hours a week does that take? What does that actually look like? What are the tools that we have to support you? We have like entrepreneurial training wheels for you. So if you're like, I don't know how to do this, like don't even worry, we got you. So I hope to see some of you on that call tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here with me and hanging out a couple minutes later. I will have this recording posted and available. So if this was inspiring for you or applicable for you or anything like that, definitely please join us and um, yeah. If you have questions, reach out to the person who invited you here. And last thing before we go, I'm going to put right here in the comments, a website. If you go to superfood.social, you also can go to superfood.social on Instagram. And you can find me on Instagram as at home in the hive. Go check out that. If you're like, yes, I'm in inquiry. I want to learn more. Let me check out this community. Those are just some great resources for you to dive more into what we have. So Love you all so much. Have an amazing rest of your Sunday. Thank you for being, oop, thank you for being here. We'll talk to you guys soon and hopefully see you on that call tomorrow.